hello, I'm back. Yep, it's me. I know, what are you going to do? I just can't seem to stay away. Anyway, yes, my face has much, well, except for the breakout spots here and there, my face has much improved from falling down, go boom. I no longer have the big bruises down through. It, it's still a little discolored on the upper lid, but eh, you know, eh, that's what, what concealer is for and that kind of thing. Um, you know, like these. Feeling better. My granddaughter is doing a little better. It scared the bejesus out of her when she realized that having a meltdown did this. That's one of the problems with the kid being autistic. When she's having the meltdown, she has no clue what is going on. It's really scary. Now, I have a couple of things. I tried an Ipsy Glam Bag Plus, and I've got the results of that particular opening down here on my little tray. However, one of the other things I want to bring up that I got in, and this is some things, especially if it's a handmade cosmetic, can get hung up because of things like COVID. And I've been wanting to get these forever. And then after I ordered them, it felt like forever until they were able to get here. But one of the people I've done several um, collabs with in at least mass groups is Sandra from My Real California Life, who does Classy Cake Cosmetics. Now, there are some of the cosmetics in this little palette that are named for people in the group that I sometimes work with for doing collabs. We've got Leanne and Nona and Glamberger and Christopher MUA and and Anya and and you know it's just yeah there are amazing colors that she makes now like a lot of very new indie brands you get a lot of shimmers to start with and because matte formulas are God's own curse trying to make. But I've got these shimmers. I'm still trying to figure out what I'm going to do with it. So this is not going to be what I do today. What I'm doing today came out of the Ipsy Glam Bag. Now, like, yeah, I've got the moisturizer on. I've got the sunscreen on. I've got all of that stuff. Yes, indeedy. What I got out of the laying out on the beach bag this time. Oh, I forgot to tell you. Classy Cakes has their own brushes. And this thing is wonderful. It's got this nice little thing. It looks kind of like a thorn on a rose, but it makes it very easy to keep control on the br Oh, and the bristles are wonderful. They're so soft. They're so soft. That's so, so pretty. Anyway, back to the Ipsy. Got the laying on the beach bag. And what I got is this honey jurette which is a basically it's just kind of like a bb a tinted bb cream 
This one's in peach ivory. And you pop it open. And you've got your little padding sponge. And then you open the thing up and you've got your cushion. Now, I'm not always fond of cushions because they can dry out pretty quick sometimes. Depends on how well the packaging works. All that jingling is telling me that my grandson is going up and down the stairs. But I'm going to be trying this. I've already kind of padded some on my hand. It looked good. Color wasn't too bad. And I've got some of the Dr. Brandt Pores No More Luminizing Primer. I also got a Pure Lease um, cleanser, which is already in the bathroom. I like it. See, the problem I'm having with the idea of the the plus bag is yes i'm getting some really nice products and i'm getting larger sizes the problem is that the plus bag doesn't fit as neatly into my budget and no matter how much i really really like the products i'm never going to buy them again even though it's a full size, because most of this stuff is out of the budget range. So, yeah. Anyway, Laura Geller, Central Park, Eye, Face, and Cheek Palette. Try and cover up that little mirror there. Now, I like the colors in here. And I'm going to use the eye colors, but I'm not going to use the rest of the face colors because they also sent a Pacifica duet. This is the Cherry Gold with highlighter and blush. The colors are Rose Gold and Cherry Spirits. So I'm going to use these instead of the Central Park. And then they sent this Araceli eyeliner. This is actually a brown. It's called Coffee. And it makes a really tiny, fine line. I played with it. So we will see how those go. I've got some other stuff to fill in with because there's no concealer and eyeshadow base and all, and you know, brow and all that other stuff. And no lippies, so I'll just fill in with what I've got. Some of which will be stuff that I got out of my out of a regular size Ipsy bag, like the jelly glaze. <laughs> This thing is tiny. It's the tiny tart jelly glaze that was in one of the other Ipsy bags. It's just kind of a itty bitty little lip color thing. Kind of a lip gloss. Anyway. Let's see if I can remember how to do this, you know. It's my AOA Studio White Concealer. Let's see if I can remember how to do all the things. See if I can find all my brushes. La, 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 my dog thinks I'm talking to her now. Her name, our official name is Latte. 
but we call her Lolly a lot, or just La La La. She doesn't care as long as she gets called to come to dinner. And then there's our little dog, Finnegan, who gets all kinds of silliness with his name. Everything from Finnegan to Finn to Finn Finn to even Fifi now and again. That's when he's being bitchy. They're both a bit on the older side, so he's getting kind of curmudgeon-y and grouchy and his joints are kind of stiffening up and that kind of thing. Okay, got that part done. Now let's see what I'm going to do with these eye colors. I mean, it's there's four colors. There's not a lot to to make decisions on. You've got a standard kind of middle tone beigey neutral called Belvedere Castle. A sort of pinky pale that's called Sheep Meadow. A dark muddy brown that's turtle pond and then a kind of a red shimmer which is cherry hill so let's just see where we go i am starting believe it or not with the cherry hill. Got a little, one of my little crocheted rounds down here that I'm using to dust off the brush with. There is kind of a big difference between that one shimmer shade, the Cherry Hill, and some of the matte shades. The Sheep Meadow has a lot of dust up. A lot. Lots of dust up. I 
I mean, lots. I mean, the, the, the little impression on this one is almost completely gone off. The Cherry Hill doesn't look like a touchdown. Oh, that Turtle Pond Chocolate Brown is doing the same thing. All I wanted to do with that is just bring this corner up a little. Give it a little depth out here on the edge. And this thing, it's just powder personified. Powder, powder. Now, this little tiny brush that I've got, it's an elf, and it's called a detail crease brush. But, and I, I love it. it, it, little tiny bits. The thing is, the more I play with the eye color, the more I'm losing the Cherry Hill. some of that back in there. It's just kind of blending away with the other colors, which is kind of sad. Okay, I think I told a little bit of a fib. I am going to use the some of the face stuff because I want to put a little more color into the eyes. I'm going to pick up this kind of bronzy tone called Bethesda Terrace. I'll put that where I originally first put that pink. Because I want to liven that area up just a little bit with some shimmer. And then I'll put the pink back on up under here. Okay. 
Now, I think I do once in a while. I do think. Don't start. I'm going to take this flatter brush and pick up some more of that Bethesda Terrace and go right under like that. I'm going to take that the Belvedere Castle, which is kind of a middling shade. And another one that's dusty as heck. And just kind of run that under. just for the heck of it. Just to give the Bethesda Terrace something to play with. Why? I don't know. Okay, not too awful, maybe. I've got the usual thing going on of the eyes do not match because, let's be real, I can't see what I'm doing. I think I've caused enough havoc with that, but it's like, look, the, the impressions, especially on the one up here, the sheep meadow, the impression is gone. It just is gone. The, um, Turtle, yeah, Turtle Pond, the impression is pretty well blotting out. It's starting to go quickly. And the Belvedere Castle is looking kind of weak. The um, Cherry Hill still got a pretty good impression. But the other, the, the three mats are just flipping dusty. Anyway, I'm going to run away for a minute and I'm going to put on the peach honey and the this primer and I will be back in a few minutes to continue making this mess. <clears throat> I may be using some of the uh, classy cake a little sooner than I thought because at some point I need to put an inner corner highlight in. I don't see much of anything to work with that in this current setup. Oh well. See you in a minute. Okay, got a little eyeliner on, got the 
jar clean cover cushion now one of the things I don't like about the cushions is with the little pet you get these really weird wet spots where your fingers are and then these dry spots so you end up doing the, blah, 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 yeah, spat 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 and then I end up taking my regular um, foundation brush kind of thing to buff it out because if you smear it around with that little sponge the sponge gets really nasty really quick but it's not bad color it doesn't feel heavy I've got a little bit of my AOA Studio um, liquid concealer under the eyes and on some of the little bumpets. Now, I started to put on the luminizer primer. When I first squirted it on my fingers, I was looking at it going, this has got a color to it. Now, it's a, it's a pale beige, but it's got a color to it. So I was going, okay, I'll just pat a little bit over my cheeks where the pores are, and maybe start up here on the bumps. It smells like Lemon Pledge. I am not kidding. It smells like lemon pledge. Ew. Now I had already smeared it on my face. And if I was gonna wipe it off with any like micellar water or a you know beauty wipe or whatever, that means I would be losing my moisturizer and my sunscreen and it I just left it now luckily the the scent does fall off pretty quick thank goodness but ah uh, and I'm not that impressed with the quote unquote luminizing quality um, anyway, I put the, the honey Jarrett over it, set everything down with a little of my AOA Studio Perfect Setting Powder. The, the honey Jarrett is not really, it's not really wet or sticky like a regular foundation, but it was still just sticky enough that I didn't want to let it go without putting some powder on it. And my forehead's a little sticky currently, so let's just poof that again. I just, I didn't want to just go and, and let it run. But that's just me. Now I've got a little bit of pencil in the lower waterline. It's a royal blue. It's from BH Cosmetics. I ordered, I finally, because they had a big sale on, finally ordered the original Zodiac palette. Because I thought it looked kind of nifty. And said, yeah, all right, that'll work. And went on about myself. And I figured, you know, if I'm going to send away for stuff, let me just pick up a couple of things. So I also got the pencils. Now, I'm impressed with how easy they go on. I really am. They go on very smooth. I don't know if they're going to hold up, though, because yeah, 
with fibro and with allergies, you get some watery eyes sometimes just out of the blue. You cannot guarantee a thing. So I didn't go all the way up into the corner. We'll see how it works. I've got a initial um, application of CoverGirl mascara. We'll see how the rest of this goes. I'm not going to worry about bronzer this time. I'm just. I've got this really pretty let's see that's the cherry spirits blush from Pacifica now I love Pacifica I have had a lot of fun with a lot of their colors that I've gotten in ipsy bags and such this size palette has also come in the regular Ipsy bag. So I'm okay with that. But it's a deep enough color that I'm not necessarily going to worry about bronzer. I'm just going to put a little of this on, which actually looks pretty good next to that I look I don't want to get too crazy and then I've got the what is this uh, the rose gold highlighter which is this little bit here and it's almost dark enough if I didn't mind having a sparkly bronzer depending on what I was doing and where I was going I'd use it I could use this as the bronzer. It's really pretty. But it's also pretty dang subtle. I don't know how I've gotten stuck in this subtle mode lately. I really don't. Maybe it has to do with this thing of being not only locked in, but just feeling old. For some reason, I've been feeling old for a few days, a few weeks, a couple of months. Now, this has got a little bit of a scent to it, but it it's hard to describe. Either that or I'm still smelling the, the, the lemon pledge. I'm still smelling the lemon pledge on my fingers. That's sad. Yeah, lemon pledge. You know, you would think if you went to clean something, you'd have to worry about lemon pledge on your fingers. But, here you go. Now, I've got this Tarte H2O Gloss and this one's in the color Below Deck. Now I gotta tell you, anything that I've got pretty much that's Tarte is mostly going to have been because I got little samples in an Ipsy bag.
and I think this particular color does pretty well with what I got going on. Anyway, let me grab up my little Classy Cake Cosmetics and a little brush and I'm going to pick up some of this highlighter in here that's called Anya and we're talking about Pink Sweets Anya she's kind of the one that got me into this to begin with and I'm going to pick up a little bit of this delightful color and I'm going to tick it right here in the corner. Because I want to. Here's the problem with getting brand new cosmetics. Sometimes that first layer is just a little unforgiving about wanting to come off. Now, I'm not trying to go completely ham on this. I just wanted a little something light in that corner for the other colors to play around. Anyway, for being away so long, I think this looks pretty good. Yeah, I didn't bother to put any makeup on, really, because it would have taken half a jar of foundation to cover some of those bruises that I had originally. So, eyebrows, eye look, and slap a little more mascara around just for the heck of it. Yes, my eyes were really, really, really swollen, so I didn't even put any of my eyelash serum on. So, they're kind of sparse again. I got to get back into doing the eyelash serum. Now that I got those that first set of magnetic lashes, I gotta start playing with the magnetic lashes more. And you know, just sticking other lashes on for the heck of it. Now if they're very long lashes, I can't wear them because of my glasses. If I ever get contacts again, which I haven't had for years. I could probably get away with longer lashes for other stuff, but I can't guarantee I'm going to be able to get contacts again. My eyes have gotten drier over the years. We'll see what happens. Anyway, there I am. I am back. With any luck, I'll be even back on schedule at some point. Have fun. If you're in the U.S., behave yourselves on Friday. 
no getting drunk and driving, no climbing into the middle of a crowd, no running around without your mascuses on. Look, I keep clear, just plain old lip balm with me when I'm going out shopping. I don't even much bother to make up anything from here down. Because it's going to be covered. It's going to be under the mask. It's going to get worn off by the mask. But my lips get dry. So I stick plain old, you know, clear lip balm on. But let me tell you, now that my eyes are in much better shape again, I will be putting the eyes on to go over the mask. It's more fun. Tell me what you think. No, really. Tell me what you think. You're allowed. If you're too rude, I'll just swatch you one. Anyway, there we go. See you next time. Be good.